What up, world? It's Eternal Authenticity, broadcasting live. And I'm doing a video now out in nature with the dog, doing the dog walk. And um, yeah, the video today is about how to let go of negative people and shady people out of your life for good. So what I mean by this is like, so they say all of life, the world is like a mirror, you know, we're all different reflections, you know, in essence. Some are very transparent and clear and honest and vibrant, you know, mirror reflections. And some mirror reflections are very distorted, ugly, and, you know, there's not much to talk about, to be honest, you know, and that's just the truth of it. And like for me going have gone vegan. I'm a vegan for now three years now. And like for that up until then, you know, sometimes and even I've s I'm still working on it, I would I have been taking things personally, you know what I mean? And like what I mean by that also is like, you know, I always would notice that some people in different interactions, various different circumstances, various different interactions, various different energies different colors, different creeds. And the point I'm making is, is like, I would notice that sometimes there will be a whole lot to talk about with some people, you know? And then some people, like, there's nothing to talk about. You know what I mean? And it's like a forced interaction. That's also what this video is going to be t called. How to let go of forced interactions and shady people. That's probably what's going to be called, to be honest, okay? So, like, for me... I started speaking about the whole black and white thing. You know, it's deeper than just that because I've been able to connect with different kinds of people. You know, black, white, pink, brown, purple, yellow, blue. Nobody is better than nobody. You know, and I feel like that's the whole trap that they get people caught up into is skin color reference. You know, yes, there's vibration at the same time. Like that's not supposed to, uh, you know, deter how someone should treat someone else like someone should be um treated equally because in essence we're all connected and separations is like one of the biggest illusions there is on the planet so that's how i move forward with that being said um you know also when i talk about forced interactions and shady people a lot of times growing up this and that they're like oh you know you're black you're white you're um, brown, you're yellow, you know, you're light skinned, this and that. And, you know, I always knew I never fit in anywhere. You know, some people I vibed with, some people I didn't. But I will say I vibe with the truth, you know. And what I mean by that is health. So, like, people that are pushing at least an uplifting message, I support it. I'm not out here judging nobody. I don't even care about what other people are doing. I have so much energy and passion into what I'm doing that I've lost all interest in trying to, you know, just sit up here trying to pick someone apart, to try to sit up here and hate, to try to sit up here and judge or ridicule or something like that. Like, I just, instead of me complaining or even speaking some real stuff that may be partly negative, because it's real though and it's truthful, I just don't feed into it. That's why I stopped watching porn. That's why I stopped watching the fear news and fear TV and fear media. That's why I stopped listening to so, uh, a whole lot of music, rap music. You know, like I started listening to more classical stuff. You know, I listen to some hip hop, some old school hip hop too, occasionally. But it's just the point I'm making is it's, it's the vibration, you know, like. That's why it takes for someone like me and also Infinite Waters, Ralph Smart, my mentor, our mentor, you know, to remind us to come out into nature, you know, because when you're out here on these parks and trails, you know, there's no mask. You know what I mean? There's nowhere to hide. You know, there's nowhere to run. You know what I'm saying? It's you have to be your authentic self. You know, there's no uh, none of this artificial crap in a true natural alkaline environment you know shout out to dr sabi about that too i remember dr sabi was saying my mama in the jungles of africa 
she wasn't no prostitute. She wasn't smoking cigarettes. She wasn't, you know, abusing alcohol and, you know, walking around like some so-called savage, this and that. You know, and that's why I, I love Dr. Sabi. You know, I appreciate Dr. Sabi. I don't even, I ain't even met him. I appreciate you, Dr. Sabi. You know, as I'm loving myself, thanks for helping all of us family to rise in love with ourselves. I'm growing and, you know, that's why I've been shouting you out and other mentors out and applying the information to help heal myself and spread the legacy and the message as well. So I appreciate you. But he was saying some real stuff just about respect in terms of love, in terms of, you know, our women and this cosmic family arrangement. You know what I mean? Because it's two different vibrations. It's higher vibration and lower vibration. Love and fear, you know? So, like, with that being said, like, I found out easily. I was like, yo, I need to stick to what God, God, the universe, creator, the, you know, whatever you want to call it, nature is speaking to me. And for me, it was like, hey, one, I'm here to be a father, you know, two, I'm here to have children and a beautiful spouse that will be devoted to me day in and day out. And I will do the same in reciprocity. I will provide, I will protect, I will be faithful, I will be committed. I am committed, I am faithful, I am loyal. And I'm asking for that in exchange. It's not even a long checklist. I only asked for one thing, was just loyalty and faithfulness. That's like the same thing. That and long-term, long-term uh, devotion, long-term prioritization. You know what I'm saying? Like, this common sense stuff, you know, just to be the priority. So I'm not, I'm not no side piece. I'm not in a love triangle. I'm not in an open relationship. You know, I'm not an option, you know, none of that stuff. I'm making sure that I'm none of that. I'm making sure I'm the only one, the one. I'm making sure that they're faithful. And I'm making sure that they're willing to be with me throughout the long run, you know, through death, do us apart, you know, and that they appreciate, you know, a vegan plant-based lifestyle and they embrace it as well. It's simple stuff. Basically, that's only three things. Long-term, willing to be long-term together and just faithfulness and loyalty, which is prioritization, you know, and uh, vegan, you know, plant-based. You know what I'm saying? That's why I ask for every, that's why I ask in love. You know what I'm saying? So that's it. You know what I mean? I remind myself of that. And I listen to my ancestors, my elders, my mentors, and they say some real stuff to help keep us focused on the right track. You know, because that's why I was saying the stuff about Dr. Sabi. He said some real stuff, you know, like it's true. You know what I mean? Like when we think about our mom, that's that's why I would hear a phrase where they said, like a mom, like men always gravitate towards marrying a woman that reminds them of their mom, and ladies gravitate towards marriage for a man that reminds her of her dad, you know. And I'm not talking about no creepy way or nothing like that. I'm just talking about like the energy. You know what I mean? Like when we go out on the matrix, me personally as a man. I can sense out energies very well. I'm an empath. I'm very sensitive. So, like, there's some, there's a lot of women who have an, have an uh, agenda, an approach, a mentality of just this hookup, quick fix, fast stuff, you know. They're not really down for you, you know. Maybe if you pick them for the night, cool. They'll pick you for the night. But guess what? They got a whole bunch of people lined up, a whole bunch of other guys lined up, you know, chatting, texting, emailing, calling, you know, ready to go hop on to them next to go, you know, get one off with them, you know, have sex with them or whatever, you know. And that's not for me. You know what I mean? Like I said, I'm in it for the long run. Like I'm here for a family. I'm here to be here day in and day out. You know, maybe unpopular. At the same time, I'm still choosing it, you know, because I would much rather have, you know, faithfulness, loyalty, a true friend and lover at the same time, 
you know, instead of some instant gratification, whatever, this hookup, quick fix stuff, you know what I mean? So, like, I had to differentiate the energies, you know, and listen to my elder mentors about stuff, too, you know. They're saying some real stuff, too. When Dr. Sable was saying, my mama wasn't no savage out in the jungles of Africa, that's some true stuff, too. You know, like, to be honest, I've never been to Africa yet this lifetime, but I'm willing to go and I'm excited to go and I'm eager to go. But I can already imagine that there's a heavy contrast between the Eastern Hemisphere and the Western Hemisphere here in America and over there in Africa and other parts of the world, too. So like over here, what I've noticed by dealing with other energies from other countries, like I've noticed that, you know, sometimes there's kind of like a different approach to things, a different feel, a different vibe. And I know sometimes in some parts of on this side of the planet, you know, it's not as, you know, natural. It's not as sensitive. It's not as, you know, civilized sometimes, you know, and I'm not complaining. I'm just keeping it real, though. You know, where I'm coming from, I'm coming with a, a royal approach. You know, I'm a king. You know what I mean? Therefore, I'm worthy to have the best and most beautiful love in my life. No excuses. I'm not settling. No mediocrity. No half-ass stuff. No um, love triangles. No games. No shady stuff. No lust. No cheating. No lies. You know, no, uh, none of that stuff at all. Just common sense. You know what I mean? Just common sense. So that's what I'm into. Just real stuff, you know? And like, as we get deeper and deeper on the journey within, we remember how that is, you know, how that looks because the most popular fast paced, this and that, they are pushing a whole different agenda and it's mixing people up and people is doing shady stuff behind each other's backs and it ain't got nothing to do with me, you know? I'm just keeping it real though, you know? Like, that's that. That's also why I say why it's important for us to marry ourselves first because you gotta keep in mind, we gotta be so whole and complete, so in love with ourselves that, you know, we are sure of our partner, you know what I'm saying? That we won't even be hurt by our partner. You know, because we'll have that much respect and love for our own self that we will know not to put up with mediocrity, you know, not to tolerate stuff, not to settle, not to, you know, be in a scenario that doesn't serve us. You know what I'm saying? So, like, that's just common sense. And I've been connecting that dot with just life and love, you know, because, like I said, People got a lot of stuff in their minds, you know, and like for me, I'm just a messenger. I'm a guide to help speak what most people are afraid to talk about in real life and also to speak truth and to help myself out and to help other people out who also share a similar vision, you know, because a lot of us can relate, you know. We're, we're leaving the school systems, jobs, this and that. We're finding our way and we know, oh, OK, guess what? I've got to be able to provide, you know, have some type of something going for me, no matter if I'm a guy or a girl, no matter what age, race, color, whatever, some line of work, some service, some type of involvement in something, no matter what it is, you know, your own business model, whatever, something going for us on both sides, men and women, you know, and like, <clears throat> with that being said, like, you know, also we can combine that with love. You know, like that's a big step, you know what I'm saying? Learning how to harmonize that and understand that, you know, we go through a lot of tests to see what will we do for love? What will we do for money? What will we do for fame? All of this stuff. And it's so true because for me, I already realized, I was like, hey, you know what? I'm not fighting for nobody's love at all. You know, if it ain't given freely, then it ain't love. You know, that's fake love. If you want somebody to fight, you know, tear themselves up, destroy themselves just to impress you, thinking like you're superior to somebody, thinking that you're so high and mighty, better than people. That's not love, you know. That's just common sense, you know, like 
that's just part of us knowing our self worth is like to be able to be like, hey, my my bar, my uh frequency, the frequency I have, the energy I'm embodying is so amazing and so phenomenal and incredible that guess what? I'm only focusing on heart space connections, which is the best because not everybody's gonna have my heart. You know, I'm not out here attempting to have all seven billion people in my house. I'm not having I'm not here attempting to have all seven billion people give me a hug and watch my YouTube. I'm not. You know, if it happened, that would be interesting. But I'm just showing reality, you know, the heart space connection, shout out to my my mentor, Infinite Water Drop Smart. The heart space connection is the rarest connection, you know, <clears throat> which is you know, which saves us a lot of time, you know, because you learn not to force certain interactions, you know, with people, you know, just because they have a cool social media profile or just because they're this skin color or just because they have this kind of car or whatever, this or that. It doesn't mean they're going to be down for you when you don't have anything. It doesn't mean they're going to be down for you when you're sick. It doesn't mean they're going to be down for you when, you know, there's some you know, big waves in the ocean that y'all are surfing and traveling on. You know what I mean? So the heart space connection reveals who's truly down for you unconditionally. And they truly accept you 100 percent. No games, no, no games, no games at all. No playing around, no fooling around, no deception, no shady stuff, you know. No uh, high stress levels. None of that stuff. It's just harmony and understanding and healthy communication. You know what I mean? Even if, even whenever I've like maybe misheard or something like that, or even if they're, uh, you know, testing me or whatever, I've learned not to ever allow myself to ever stress myself out in love and in life in general. You know, because it's like, that's why they say we have to marry ourselves first, because if you don't marry yourself first, and I don't care what these people looking at, if you don't marry yourself first, then like, um, it's going to be real hard because otherwise you're going to be wanting to self-destruct and you're going to want to, you're going to end up in an arrested state of development. You know what I mean? Because you're like a ticking time bomb holding on to chemicals and explosives in your hand when you're self-destructive when you're fearful when you're evil you know stuff like that and that's not healthy you got to rise up out of that you know that's why i was talking about forced interactions and stuff like that shady people because we don't change people we can only inspire people you know that's something i'm learning and i'm doing too i'm inspiring thousands and probably millions of people by now, you know, I'm already, it's already shown, you know, I own all the copyright publishing on this YouTube, you know, I'm the copyright owner, I'm owning all my content on here, everything is produced by me, Sky Blackwell, Eternal Authenticity, YouTube.com slash help make a difference, you know, I'll even start popping up, I'll even make some cue cards, you know, because I have to start editing and, you know, getting some new ideas, going to the computer lab, editing some of this stuff. But, yeah, that's the truth on that. You know what I mean? Like, there's a whole lot of noise, a whole lot of riffraff. But I will say that's why we have to marry ourselves first. Because you see your worth. I see my amazing worth that I have. I'm worthy of the best. You know, kings don't have to fight. That's why I'm not ever having to fight or stress myself out for money and for love or for any of that stuff. And even <laughs> I can be, you know, cool with it. And like they even have boxing matches, you know, for paid fights and money like that. That's something that's legit. That's something that's actually healthy, you know, an arranged boxing exhibition, you know, from actual legit 
council members and whatnot for a boxing commission or whatever. Now, that's a good idea if you really were into that type of stuff, you know. But, like, I'm saying a lot of this music and stuff like that, it pushes a whole different message that's unhealthy. You know what I mean? Talking about guns, talking about knives, talking about, you know, killing, all this and that. Like, that's not healthy. It's not cool, you know. To each his own, people are going to do whatever. I'm always protected eternally forever. And nobody will stop the amazing success that I'm achieving and my long life that I have to live. So, with that being said, you know, that's just common sense. So, like, also I'm putting that hand in hand with just love and whatnot. Some people kill and some people stress out so much over love, over money, over religion. You know, and that's why these were universal tests when the one that we so-called love or the one that so-called loves us, when they pull some funny stuff, some shady stuff or whatever, something out of the blue, that's our own test to see how we will respond, you know, in that given scenario, you know. And that's for me. I, I, I completely am surrendered up, you know, because I'm like, hey, you know what? I learned, I went through that little exhibition matrix training world and I'm cool. You know what I mean? Because I still have my marriage with my own self. I still have my own mind of my own. So I'm like, wow, imagine how it will be when I do, when I'm continuously manifesting new levels of growth, of financial stability, of everything else. You know, everything else would just align with that and level up with that, you know. So that's how I'm seeing it, you know. I'm not even going to be having fear or worry drive me around because I'm worthy of the best, you know. So, like, all those other thoughts that don't serve me, I'm letting those go, you know, because this is a real world. Also, at the same time, there's a spiritual realm to it. So that's why I'm on YouTube to help harmonize and inspire other people with this whole mental health and everything and I'm inspiring other people and I'm helping myself at the same time by doing this so how to let go of shady people and forced interactions is simple you know just trust the vibes sense out the vibes be aware of the vibes you know like how do you feel like whenever you go to the gym and there's some personal trainers, whatever, different energies, different colors, different creeds. But guess what? They're really transparent and, you know, able to help you out with your health and well-being. You know, what I mean, literal facts that actually matter, that actually mean something, you know, they're actually giving something to us, you know. So, like, that's that vibe. But how do you feel maybe? When it's some so-called cool guy or cool girl or whatever, you know, but deep down, you know that something's not right. Deep down, you know, something's up. Deep down, you know, something, you know, is not cool. Hey, <laughs> have a good day. Thank you. <laughs> deep down, you know, something isn't right. Deep down, you know, something's off and that's why I always recommend for people to go vegan because that boosts your sensitivity, your awareness, our awareness and alertness to where we can sense out and feel this stuff the best, you know, so that we're authority. That's why I'm always like, hey, I'm authority. I'm not bossing people around or nothing. But, hey, I've actually I actually have enough confidence within myself that, hey, I'm speaking up all the time. You know, I'm speaking up all the time when I'm like, hey. This this is a lie, you know, I'm I'm pointing out the lies, you know what I mean? I'm exposing the lies. I'm, you know, sharing the truth, you know, so that's that. Um, that's how it is. Some people, there's nothing to talk about this and that. And honestly, the message in that is to let those people go. OK. And vibrate with other people that are on a high frequency as well so anyways y'all have an amazing day it's eternal authenticity broadcasting live youtube.com slash help make a difference